Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with Occupy Mars the Game. Now, some time ago, I did do a first look at the prologue to this. This has been a kind of a bit of time coming, actually. It's been on, in the works for quite some time. I'm not exactly sure. Hold on. Let me make sure about the time here. Yeah, I did detect, and it was September 20, 2020. So it's been all, almost three years since the prologue came out and uh, the prologue was pretty cool but it was tough and this is no different guys this is going to be very very tough but then so is surviving in Mars <laughs> I mean you can't make mistakes and that's one of the the main things about this game is how hard is it going to be to to live on Mars how hard is it going to have be to have a habitat there and to survive and that's what this is all about and there's a lot of, of games like this coming out and uh, recently there's another one I think called Surviving Mars and there's a few others that I've been interested in looking at but there's been a lot of interest in Mars lately but I do tell you it does take a while to get in here be patient it can take about two minutes for that first screen to get through I did cut some of that out so it wouldn't take quite so long but this game really looks cool and I haven't quite gotten into all of it and it is still early access I guess they're spending a lot of time trying to get all the kinks and bugs and problems out of it and you know they wanted it to work right but yeah I can't wait to see what this little guy over here on the right does <laughs> but let's take a look at this we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually go into the tutorial first guys uh, right now the only thing you can do is you can do free play and you can do tutorials you cannot do a campaign yet so and it is still in early access so there's still going to be bugs there's still going to be glitches there's still going to be problems but it's just a matter of time before the full version comes out and I think it's going to be really awesome once we get past all the kinks and bugs but you do need to go through the tutorials but I will tell you I've already gone through them once and the reason I did that is because I knew this game was tough and some of it is not some of it's not very intuitive that's the word I'm trying to think of there's a lot of it that's not very intuitive so there was a lot of, of instances where I couldn't figure out what was going on or how to do something and once I figured it out it's like well they could have told me that <laughs> and they, they didn't but there's actually six different tutorials and the first two are not too bad. The first two are actually pretty easy to do. This third one, it, it gets a little bit tougher. And they actually get pretty tough as you go along. Honestly, I think number four, the power management tutorial, will probably take uh, a video by itself. The uh, crusher and the growing plants, I mean, it, actually each one of them might take an episode as well each, but just depends on how much time it takes for me to get through them now that I know exactly what I'm doing but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get through the first three with this episode I guess you'd call it an episode it's not really technically an episode it's a more of a first look go walk through the tutorials but usually you can get through tutorials in one episode or one video no not this time it's gonna take at least three at least three so let's go ahead and go with basic movement and vitals tutorial again some of the loads take some time just be patient don't think it's locked up it's 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 gonna be alright now once you get this little start it's ready to go and you usually pop right in now it's gonna say information and all your information is in that little box over on the right obviously when we first start it's gonna be very basic stuff you know moving left right WSAD same standard stuff we're gonna okay F to use the flashlight 
and it won't go any further in the tutorial until you complete what it's asking you to do. So if you th you're not sure whether you're done with it or not, it won't let you go any further. Plus, you see that little box that gives you a distance? That usually takes you to your next task. Information. See, so press C to crouch. That's the only way to get through there. Press space to jump. Oh, and by the way, you can jump a lot higher here because gravity is less. <laughs> Okay, press tab to open the tablet. Now the tablet is basically like a little wrist tablet. And we're going to check the messages. There's no more missions. Our inventory. Now V to change the camera. Right now we're in first person, obviously. But you can't go in third person. And we're going to go to the next area in third person. And that's it. The first one is very, very quick, very simple. No big deal. There's not much more than what I just did there. So, all right. We're going to go on to the next one. Okay. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use basic building tools. Again, this one's pretty quick and easy, honestly. All right. I'm going to turn my flashlight on. Now we're going to basically be using the jackhammer first. And the jackhammer is right over here, as I said. Follow that little box. Okay, you can either hit E to pick things up or your right mouse, well actually it's your left mouse button. And it says press one or middle mouse button to hide or equip the tool. And if you hold the mal mid mouse button, you can actually get like this little wheel of things. And you can have different tools within that, and you can go to wherever it is and select it. Of course, right now that's the only one I have. So now it says use your jackhammer on big rocks to break them down into smaller pieces. We did do this in the original prologue, but it's a little bit more sophisticated in my opinion now. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break this up. That little circle you see will disappear, but we're going to try to break it down to where it's nothing left but ore. This does take a minute. Now see, that is iron ore ready to load. That's how far you want to take it. And see, this one isn't quite all the way broken down yet. kind of have to be right on top of it to get it. But we're going to zip through this real quick, guys. Alright guys, we have broken it up as you see, and now basically we're going to go ahead and put this away. You just walk up to each item and you see a little hand, hit your E button, you'll pick up the rock, and then you'll put it in your inventory. Make sure the hand's there, otherwise it won't work. So basically what we've, what we've collected is a whole bunch of iron. Now it's telling us we need to use the blowtorch. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up all these pieces. But till you get them down to that point, there's one more left, you can't pick them up. They have to be broken down enough. Now we need to pick up the blowtorch. The blowtorch is this little piece right here. And you can pick up the building materials here, which is what they want us to do next. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away. That's on the second slot. 
We're going to hit E and pick these things up. Information. Information. Suit power, 75%. Information. Okay, enter the area. Now, it did say something about the suit power being down to 75% you got to be careful. You can run out of oxygen. <laughs> so if that happens, you need to find a plug to be able to power up your suit again. It says open your tablet by pressing tab or the right mouse button and selecting the blueprints tab. Okay, we're going to go to blueprints, electricity, and we want the solar panel is what we want didn't say that. I had to figure that out for myself, <laughs> unfortunately. That's kind of commonplace here. All right, but what we're going to do is we're going to basically put up a solar panel, and we can actually turn this if we so desire. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're going to try to get this thing this direction. Now we use the blowtorch, which is a two button. We just... use it and it puts it together alright now we need to go pick up the grinder so we'll put that away I need I was gonna try to find a place where I can charge up my suit but I don't see one here might be one over in here eventually it's hard to say I think we were fine though set 75 percent we should be alright here's the grinder and that's on your third button. So we've got the jack, the jack, the blowtorch, and the grinder. The grinder is for breaking down old things like these old panels from. Information. And you can get scrap from that. It does jump right into your inventory, which is nice. Go to the next area. All right. Now we're going to put that away. And that's it. That's the second tutorial. Pretty straightforward. No biggie. All right. We are now into the third tutorial. And this one is a little more involved, guys. This is not very straightforward. So if I'm going to try to cover this as best I can, if I miss something or I'm not clear about something, let me know in the comments and I will respond. If you want me to redo something, I will do that. But yeah, some of the stuff here is going to be tough, knowing exactly what to do, because I kind of fumbled around in it quite a bit. Now, I've been a while, like I said, three years since I did the prologue. But for the most part, it's the same as it was then. But what we're doing, we're going to go ahead and open this door, which is what they're telling us to do. Okay, and then once you get inside, you can open the rover inventory. This is the rover inventory right here, and I think there's maybe more than one. And maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But you just hit E, and you'll go into the inventory. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these cables. There's 999 of them. That it should be more than enough. We'll bring it over here to our inventory, into this first slot. You can actually put it in any slot, but if you put it in the first slot... <coughs> But if you put it in the first slot, all I have to do is press the one button and I can use these cables. Cables are going to be real important here. It says press, and I'll go ahead and read this real quick. The, press tab to open your tablet and select inventory tab, which is that. Then assign cables to the hotbar above the grid, which is that. Find cables on the hotbar and get them by pressing the corresponding hotkey. Plug cable to kilopower. This is the thing where I got hung up on this for a while. When they said plug cable to kilopower, I didn't know what the heck they were talking about. What the heck do they mean by kilopower? So I was looking all over this thing, trying to find it, and I thought, well, maybe this is it. Actually, this is useful. This is a little tip here, guys. If you open that and click on it, you can charge your suit. My suit's fully charged, so it's not going to do anything, but you can charge your suit off of this. But what it wants us to do is come out here 
This is the kilopower, actually. We want to open that up, press the one button. Well, I thought I had. Oh, let's put it up there. I'm sorry. Now let's press the one button. See, even now there's still things not very sure. I had to take it from my inventory to my my uh, hot bar there. We'll click that in there. Now we take this other end, pick it up with by hitting E, and then we plug it into the rover. That way we can charge a sucker. All right. Now we unplug this. I'm going to go ahead and grab the cable, honestly. So I'm going to pick that up. Hit right mouse button to drop it. And then E to pick it up, not put it in your hand. That way I've got the cable in my inventory. I'm not leaving my garbage laying around. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and close this. The rover should close automatically if we take off in it. But I'm just going to go ahead and close it. And see, now we can breathe in here. See, now it says to recharge. I wanted you to be sure to see that. you got to make sure that your suit's charged. you got to make... you got to make sure that your suit's charged because you will die from lack of oxygen quickly. Okay, now you need to press the E to sit in the rover pilot seat. Okay, it says press E, left mouse button, to turn on rover top headlamps. And that is right up here. So, rover top headlamps are on. And now it says drive to the mission point. Alright. I will tell you this. You cannot go directly straight. The rover even though it has pretty good four-wheel drive capabilities, is not going to make it up that. I tried. I ended up getting stuck. I had to back up. I had to do all some kinds of finagling, and got frustrated and had to try, you know, start over. You have to drive around that little mountain thing here. It's on this other side here. There's like a little. It's not really a road, but it's flat enough to get around. Now, if you hit V, you can look at this from the outside, which is kind of cool, in my opinion. I kind of like being from the outside, because I like to look at all the scenery. Don't get too caught up in the scenery, or you'll drive off into, the, into that area there, and you won't be able to get out. Not everywhere in Mars is easily accessible, but... I'm sure as you get into the free play of this game, which I have not tried yet, it's going to get kind of hairy at times. Okay, there's where we're trying to get to right now. Now, this is going to be a little bit trickier to get over than it was... Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, we've already, we've already done that. Now, to stop, you kind of have to hit the S key... But it says press V to change the camera view, which we've already done. Then slowly move the trailer to the point. Then press, doesn't say, to attach the tipper or V switch camera view back to the cockpit. Actually, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get positioned. What I need to do is I basically need to get to where the butt end, where that hook is right there, is lined up with that little cross And that just takes a little practice. I mean, if you've driven a truck before in any time in your life, or some kind of a, you know, you've taken a boat, <laughs> you just got to get it positioned. Okay, I'm going to need to back up just a little bit. Okay. Like I always said, I'm not the best driver here. Ah, shoot. 
Yeah, this. Let me finagle this a little bit. This just takes practice. Trust me, I am. I struggle with this in real life too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna back up. Okay, finally. <laughs> Once it highlights in green, then it's ready to actually pick up. Now I gotta get my little hand thing on there. If I can here. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting that to pop up here. There it is, okay. And then we just click attach hook. And then it grabs that little device and pulls it right onto the I think they call it the lifter. That says press tab to turn on a crane control mode. Select the drill crane tool, pressing the corresponding button in the cockpit view. Alright. So we go to the cockpit view. Hit tab, and that'll slide us over to this view. This is where we operate the crane. Right now we've got the grabber, the welder, and the drill. We want the grabber. We should already have that on there, but let's make sure that it's been picked up. Yep, looks like it has been. Now to operate this, you basically use the middle mouse button to slide this out, and you see that little that little dot there? You can go down and you can pick up things, like that rock here, if it's small enough. If it's too big, you can't pick it up. But you can definitely try. I mean, sometimes you can pick up bigger objects and you can, you'd can you be surprised just how big they can be sometimes. But at this point, I think it's too big for me to really do anything with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in, go back to here, we're going to go over here, and select the drill. What it's going to do is it's going to switch the grabber with the drill and we now use this to break that into smaller pieces. Now if you want to turn this around where you can get a better view of it, you press the middle mouse button and rotate it. It doesn't tell you that. I had to figure that out for myself too. And again we you look carefully at that little red thing right there you're basically moving the mouse to the middle mouse button to slide that arm out. Let me show you. Middle mouse button slides it all the way out. Pull it down, brings it in. This is just moving the mouse around. And that little... See, there we go. Now we're breaking it up. Okay, now it says change the crane tool to grabber corresponding or pressing the corresponding button in the cockpit view. So we need to press the grabber. And there's the grabber again. Now we go over here and we grab those little rocks that we broke up. There we go. See that little green X? That means I can pick that up. There we go. We got a little rock there. And you bring it over to here. Make sure you're right over top of it, otherwise you'll end up dropping it. Sometimes it's a little, let's see if we can't position this a little better. Sometimes it's a little hard to get right on top of these darn things. There we go.
Just play around with it, you'll get the hang of it. I think they're only making you get like three of them to start off with. There we go. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it didn't count those at first two for some reason. I don't know why. I think because I didn't, I didn't drop them. This time I will. There we go. Now we're good. Turn on transport mode, pressing the corresponding button in the cockpit view to hide the crane. Now to get back over to where we were, we just hit the tab button. That gets us over here. And then we hit transport mode. That'll put the crane away. And then we drive to the mission point. Mission point's over this way. Yeah, this is where things get kind of fun. <coughs> I love driving the transport. That's kind of fun. I'm not good at it, but I love driving it. <laughs> But what we usually do is we're taking these things to a place where the materials can be ground up. The whole point of Elon Musk's missions to Mars is that we're going to be surviving and using the materials that are there, not what we bring with us. We're going to bring the minimum amount of stuff to, with us to get there. The majority of the stuff is... Okay, we're going to detach the tipper. So I'm going to come over here. Now, let's go ahead and get... Wait a minute, we don't want that, actually. To detach the tipper, we need to... tab back over to here. There's the attach hook again. We need to make sure that we put that little hand right over that. And what that does is it takes the tipper off. The tippers are different than the containers. Containers are more like what you see on the end of a semi-tractor trailer. That's for carrying materials and goods. Now we need to attach the container as we already did with the tipper. Now we've got a container over here. Yeah, that does mean I need to back up again, <laughs> which is always fun. I just need to make sure that I have the room to do it. Now I'm going to try to get over here. Make sure I don't drive off the edge there. <laughs> okay, that would be ugly. I need enough room though, that's the only thing. I should have enough room if I can do this and do this right. Now, what I'm like, let me see here. I wonder if I can do this better with the rear camera. No, probably not a good idea. Let's do it from here because I can see what is behind me. All right. Now, nope, 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 nope. God, this is hard. <laughs> this is really hard. For people who have driven tractor trailers, I'm sure that's this is easy. And I just, I know it just takes practice. But I've never really driven one. 
All right, we got this thing hooked on here. We should be good to go. But now what it wants us to do is we need to change the crane tool to the welder, pressing the corresponding button on the cockpit view. So we need to go back, hit tab to get over this way. We need to click the middle one, which is the welder. Information. And we need to move the welder to the building ghost to start a building process. Finish the building process to finish the tutorial. So this is almost done, guys. So I don't know if I'm close enough to this thing or not. We might need to get a little closer, but we'll see here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. But we'll scroll that out. Nope, we don't have to. You don't have to press anything. You just have to get close enough and then there it is alright that took a lot longer honestly but that is the first three tutorials and we're going to try the next three in the next session here guys hopefully they won't take nearly as long but the if we go to the main menu if we go back to the main menu we're going to go back to start game into the tutorials so we got through these first three this one number four power management tutorial very very tricky very very tricky I will tell you honestly it is a kinda tough this one the shredding and printing tutorial not too bad honestly you, you can get a little you know mucked up in some of the uh, instructions but for the most part not too bad the growing of plants again same thing the problem with this one is that you really have a lot of busy work to do so it can get a little time consuming so that's why I'm not so sure about how much time these three are going to take but anyway guys that is our first look at the tutorials for Occupy Mars and we're gonna go back and we're gonna see what we can do eventually about doing the free play but right now we're going to finish these tutorials apparently eventually we're going to have the option to do online co-op which is really going to be cool I think that's really where we're going to start having some good cool fun with this thing is if we can get other people involved and you can start building a colony as a team so if you have weaknesses if some people are better with the transport than others then they can do that if some people are better with the electronics they can do that you know uh, growing plants again same thing you all can take on different roles or you can switch around whatever you want to do but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun and I will see you later bye bye